Hey guys, the chicken is here back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we had a wild push yesterday that we're going to go over. And um, we're going to go over all the tips that you guys need to know going into the, what are we at, mid, almost towards the end of the season, which is crazy. These timelines still mess me up. So you guys haven't already appreciate it. If you enjoy the videos, so if you throw that code chicken into the shop, it does help support the channel and all that good stuff. Also, don't grab, don't forget to grab your free gems. And um, if you guys want to win Supercell exclusive merch, some of the stuff like I got on this uh, shelf behind me here, all you got to do is become a member of the channel. I explain, um, there's a video that you can see as soon as you become a member at any tier, the higher the tier you subscribe to, the more uh, raffle draws you get, basically is how it works. Um, so yeah, become a channel member, you get to see all the that, because we do a giveaway once a month, which is coming up soon. Haven't picked the prize just yet, but I uh, will keep you guys posted on that community tab. So here is where we're at, guys. Now, a little bit of a frustrating day today, but we had such an amazing day yesterday. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We've got another chest here. We're actually going to go 60 hours here in a little bit um, and see how that does. Um, you know what? Let's go to 6 right now. And why don't we find out if it's good or not? Yeah. All right. So first attack in trying to get our chest is going to be against a rank 21. So that doesn't look too bad. We're going to do the same hit that we've been doing. So this is the uh, the rifle drop in. This works especially well on these grappler bases. This guy doesn't seem to have regular mines, which is kind of strange. But let's see what we can do. Now on these bases, what I like to do is I like to shock all of that splash damage um, because one, it's going to kill your rifles. And two, it allows your um, critters to stay alive for a very long time. Or th they don't get, uh, you know, completely roasted right away. And let's go... Ooh, that one flight throws, we can get some work done, that's okay. Um, let's shock back in here. And the critters continually coming out uh, from Eversparks' passive ability and her main ability, combined with the rifles slowly trickling in, equals for a, uh, a very long-lasting attack um, where it's it, it's tough for the defenses even as powerful as they all are right now um, to take down all the troops at once. I don't know if I messed up that shock. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Um, now, I really want to save some GBE here if we can and try to shock and clear that stuff. So we'll see if that's going to be possible. I also don't want to risk fizzling. But I think we've got fair chance of pulling this off. Now we don't have to gamble this much usually. Typically with my base, um, as long as we're clearing them, you know, above 120 in the 130 range, then we're looking all right. But if we've got a chance to use critters to clear that engine, or at least get some good damage on it, then I think that's worth uh, that's worth the risk. So all the splash damage stuff is out of the way, except the rock and that mortar. So we should be all right. Now we got a lot of critters. We don't have too many uh, shocks. So we're going to have to time this really well. I'm going to shock the two flamethrowers as we're throwing in a bunch of critters. Actually, I think I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to shock first, then throw the critters. All right, so we're going to go get ready. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, maybe. And let's see. Are right, we going to have enough? We'll get some sprinkling in. Get a couple. Let's get Spark. Not even looking at my troops. One of the bombers is coming in. So, all that, and we didn't even uh, didn't even save us much time. Saved us maybe two or three seconds. <laughs> all right, so there's the first hit. Let's jump to the next one. All right, wait. We'll show you if we won or lost first. One twenty six is the time to beat. Uh, that is gonna be a dub. That's gonna be a big fat dub. All right, let's jump into the next one. All right, attack number two for the chest. And let's take a look here. So this is more similar to my base that I'm running right now. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I have been struggling with this one. So I think what we want to do, I think we want to, hmm, I'm tempted to clear the first bit and then kind of force everybody towards that sky shield. Um, I haven't really had much success going down that path. Hmm. Not really sure. I think let's start it from this side. Let's go one, one, two, three, four. 
Let's go uh, Critters and Spark. And let's see if we can reflare everybody, kind of, I think. That's what I somewhat want to do. Let's put in another boat of rifles. And we'll shock over here. Alright, keep that stuff alive. If we can get the split there, that would be perfect. Um, I think we need to go... Alright, let's see. Can we split them here like this? I don't know if this is going to work. That would be perfect, because then we could take down both sides without having to deal with the rock launcher shooting us from all angles. This looks good, guys. This looks good. Alright, they're good over there. Let's shock this down here. We're just worried about stupid things like flamethrowers um, taking out the critters. Now, this is where that doom cannon becomes a problem because there's not really much we can do uh, to deal with that uh, just by having critters. We can try. We can try. And also, I don't really think that this is necessarily the best way to hit all of these bases is by saving up all your GBE and trying to critter one down. Um, typically, that doesn't work. I just got really nice splits on both those last two attacks. So, let's see. We can go... You go one here first, just to clear out all the mines and junk, do a little bit of chip damage. And I think I'll wait for them to finish that last engine room off and all that stuff in there. Just so we have the maximum amount of GBU that we need. The problem is the Doom Cannon also does splash damage, so it's going to take out the critters fairly quickly. Um, but I mean, otherwise we're just waiting literally as long as we're waiting right now, so we might as well go for it, I'm thinking. So let's try shock. Critters coming in hot. They can at least take out the flamethrower. I mean, that's something, I guess. But they're certainly not going to take out, I don't think, anyways, the, the, the engine room. It just depends how the doom kind of target stuff. Alright, we got more critters coming in the back. Back door. They might help distract some stuff. Now these bases, I like to flare them over here. Half of them typically run here and then half will run over here. Um, the problem with that is those half will shoot the Sky Shield, Doom Cannon, Flamethrower. I'd rather them just, just go straight for the engine. Some of them will still shoot past it, but it seems to help slightly. So there we go, minute and 10 seconds, and we got the fizzle, let's go. Maybe we don't need to go to six. Maybe we don't need to go to six. Let's collect our chest. That gives us 44 keys, total 129. But let's push a little bit more. Let's let's do a couple more, because that seemed to be working out pretty well for us. That seemed to be working out pretty well for us. Now, I have seen a lot of 6 ERs in 22, but I don't know if those guys had gone Seekers initially and got up really high and then went um, started to stack up defenses with their other uh, keys, or is 6 ER really a big push, push point? I don't think 6 is like anything amazing, and I think going 6 early without having... Literally all the defense in five is probably a mistake. Um, the thing is we want to move forward now. Um, I haven't even showed you guys the tech tree yet, but we want to move forward now because of two things. Um, number one, we literally have to because I've unlocked all of the defense in five, so there's nothing else to get. Um, and two, because we want to get 70R and two building health notes and heavy choppers. So let's see. What level are these rockets? Ooh, they're only level 10. Okay, so I think what we can do here, I think we can go 3, 5, and let's go 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, and then we'll delay drop uh, those last guys. And I am going to throw Spark with these guys because they'll be in the bulk of the defenses, I think, for the Wolf Spark. <laughs> but that should be pretty, pretty good on that bottom side. I'm going to shock this because it's starting to slow me down. No, we didn't want that to happen. Critters. Yeah, those guys are good over there. These guys can come down here, grab these engines. Um, these guys are good to go up this way, I think. Now, I like to delay the rifles a little bit on these, these big walks because what will happen is uh, the bombers will kind of catch up to them. Oh, I hope the bombers go straight. And then they'll start take, uh, hitting the boom mines, which we don't want. So 
some shock here, shock here. I'm only really concerned um, with the path on oh, with the guys on the right because everyone else is go going to get to where they're going to. Um, at least they should. I really kind of neglected a lot of these guys down over here. Um, so let's just as long as they don't get shocked. Now. In my experience, all of these guys have been using Seekers because you can see it's 6 here. If it's not that huge clustered base, then we're going to get through it really, really quickly. So, let's go. I'm going to shark that boom can. I don't like how that's looking at me. Okay. And let's see. Did he fizzle? No. Nope. As soon as I said the F word, he got the, uh, I think he got the win there. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Why is the attack still ongoing? We know that he finished. Oh, that's nice. Just to rub it in a little bit more. So, I don't know. I think at this point, we're going to go 6 ER. Um, I won't do it in this video, because I think it's going to be more or less the same. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. I think we got to get moving here. I think we got to get moving. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go to 6. I'll go to 6, but... Um, or, no, I'm going to wait. God, I'm so indecisive. Anyways, let's show you guys the tech tree. So what we did today was I put Spark up to four. We have so many tokens. We're using her, you know, for the foreseeable future. I don't even know if we're going to need to pick up Kavan, honestly, at this point. Um, I went back and grabbed, I forget if it was this Sky Shield or another one. I grabbed the second Sky Shield, uh, the second Proto. So we have all the Protos now, two Sky Shields, two, um, two Doom Cannons, potentially. And we swapped this one out for the Shock Blaster that seemed to be doing a bit better than the Doom Cannon. So, um, yeah, that is where we're at for today, guys. Um, not doing, you know, crazy amazing. Five in Canada is good. I don't know where we're at on the global. I haven't really been looking at it. I've just been trying to get to 22. Um, so, 1 and a 6. So, we're looking all right. But it was just very frustrating because last night I got to um, 22, or sorry, 2190. And 2189 on a win streak, it was just like, yeah, right there. But just could not, could not pull it off. Kept getting secret. So maybe 6 ER is going to be the answer, guys. Um, I think it's equally as good as 5 right now. So maybe save up until we can get a couple nodes just past it that are going to be good. Um, but for the most part, I think we're just going to be straight chest collecting until we can either get uh, this multi-node or, you know, um, some defenses and maybe even Kavan, but we'll make that decision as we need to. For now, we're going to just kind of chest collect, hopefully stay in diamond, and that's the plan. That's the plan, so I hope this helps you guys out. And this base was really decent at five, as you guys can see. It was, you know, it's not unsecretable, but it was certainly better than the other bases that I was running earlier today, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like, fan, interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Check it out. Back, back.